Hi folks, the Filipino P here. And several months ago, I made a video about Filipinas rating their own looks. A lot of you guys were amazed by the low scores the women gave themselves compared to Western women. And three ladies in particular caught your eye. Despite giving themselves a mediocre score, you guys rated them at the top of the scale. And your comments were overwhelmingly positive. But why the difference? Why can't Filipinas see what you see when they look in the mirror? Well, today, you'll be able to ask them yourselves because I rounded up those three beautiful Filipinas for an interview. Let's find out what's really going on in the minds of these ladies and see if their inner beauty matches their outward appearance. Get ready for an enlightening video that's far more than just eye candy, but feel free to enjoy that too. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming for an interview. So please introduce yourselves. Hi everyone. I am Ella and I am 19 years old. Hello, I'm Jasmine and I'm 22 years old. Hi, I am Krish and I am 20 years old. All right. So how many of you guys saw your video about rating yourselves? I guess we're all of you. <laughs> ah, all of you? Okay. Yeah. So did you, what did your friends and family say? How about you, Krish? Well, my mom was actually shocked because she didn't expect me to be in that video because I only told her that I would be in the city to run some errands and she was like, oh my god, why are you here? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I was also shocked. <laughs> okay, so are you now famous in the barangay? One of my uh, childhood friends sent me the link to the YouTube uh, to the YouTube channel. She was like, "Oh my MGB, not I was like, "Yeah, that was me." She was like, "Oh my god, you look so pretty." Like, oh my god, thank you. How about you, Jasmine? Yes, of course. Um, actually, my sister saw it and uh, she was really, really happy that I was able to interact with somebody that I just met. Like, oh my god, how did you do that? Where did you get your strength to, you know, interact with something or someone? Yeah, to face a, you know, a stranger <laughs> with a mic. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, okay, like asking you random questions. Yeah. Okay, how about you, Ella? What did your friends and family say about the video? Unfortunately, um, my relatives is not able to see the video. Okay. But Why? I'm sure that um, they will be happy for me. Okay, so they haven't seen the video. Yeah. Are you happy that they didn't see the video? Um, maybe. Um, <laughs> were you shy to show no. it to your friends? Okay. Did you read the comments of that video? Yeah. Yeah. I read that one comment that I like the most. <laughs> okay. Uh, he says there, I forgot the name. He says there, I like these ladies because they were too simple and they were just too humble. Uh huh. Yeah, something like that. So I like that. I like okay, that comment. <laughs> you like that comment? How about you, Ella? Um, it says there that um, our humility gives us a one hundred percent. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they they were like they were surprised because of the ratings. How about, how about you, Krish? Did you read some of the comments? Yeah, I've read a lot. I actually read <laughs> almost all of the comments, and I think one that caught my eye was. The same as Ella did, the one that says that Filipinas are really humble when it comes to rating themselves. And yeah, that differs us from Western girls. Mm -hmm. Right, right, because they were so shocked. My viewers were shocked. Yes. Some of them because you guys rated yourselves very low. So the three of you got the highest marks from them. Oh. Were you surprised? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why, Krish? I was surprised because I didn't really like expect them to rate me 10 over 10, 9 over 10. I was like, oh my god, why? Do you feel 9 over 10, 10 over 10? After reading those, I actually felt a little confident, of course, because it actually boosts my confidence as a woman. Because mm -hmm. I didn't, I, bar I rarely get a lot of compliments here in the Philippines, but after reading all the comments, it felt good. Yeah, it mm -hmm. actually felt good. Okay. Yeah. How about you, Jasmine? Were you surprised that they yes, gave you yes. higher rating than what you rated yourself? Yes, expecting low, but then yeah. when that rating was come out, oh my god, their comments, um, uh, it made me happy because, yeah, you know, it's, um, what do you call this one? Uh, it's uplifting. Yeah. Okay, it's uplifting, <laughs> right. Okay. Yes. How about you, Ella? Because you wow. rated yourself, what, four? Yes, I was shocked with the comments because they said like I would give Ella a solid ten. I was like, why? <laughs> yeah, why? I actually see your action. I mean, we are more realistic, I guess. No one's a ten unless you're, 
you're a model. Mm -hmm. like, unless you're a goddess. <laughs> yeah, unless you're a goddess. Even even then, because the outer beauty is not really what it is all about. It is like the main thing that attracts a guy. But to keep a guy, you have to be more beautiful inside than yes. just the outside. Because it is, this is just a shell. Yes, exactly. It is just a shell. <laughs> it'll, it'll fade somehow. Mm -hmm. I just want to make a little disclaimer here because you guys are so in demand. They were asking Ooh. for your, your details. This is not a dating show. Uh, my, my guests, uh, they don't hook up with my viewers. I don't do that. I don't, that's, you know, for privacy. We don't do that here. So ladies, would you consider dating or marrying a guy from a different country? A foreigner, a Western guy? Krish. Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. Yes, yes, I consider dating or marrying a foreign guy. How about you, Jess? Well, yes. Um, why not? It's alright. Okay. How about you, Ella? Would you consider dating or marrying a foreign guy from a far, far away land? If given a chance, it would be my pleasure. It would be my pleasure. It's an honor. It's an honor. <laughs> it's an honor. <laughs> why? Why is that? What do you know about them? Or I would what love you... to. Yeah. I would love to explore, yes. I would agree with that, Krish. Yes. I would love to explore new things about them yeah. and I would love to this know girl's them adventurous. <laughs> oh, okay. So you want to explore. Okay. So what do you think your parents would say if you date or marry a foreigner? Would you, would they be okay with it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wow. yeah okay. They were so supportive about that one, you know, because having a partner which is foreign, as you can see the child, it's unique beauty it okay has, so it's you know, dna yeah. you want your <laughs> dna is. they want your dna guys okay so they would be okay with that right. just extract their no. okay how about you ella what your what would your parents say um my dad jokes around like he was saying that if you will marry a foreigner they, you will be rich and yes that, I was that's like, a stereotype no here. girl it's yeah. not like that yes. and okay. will be considered a gold digger yes yeah. yeah do you want a guy who's a leader Yes. Why do you want to have a husband who's a leader? A leader, uh, a leader, it's not like a boss. We need to like uh, differentiate this too. A leader listens to his followers while a boss just go on. Just bossing? Yeah, around. bossing around. Yeah, so that's okay. the different thing. So that is why I, li I love a leader type of guy because he will listen to what you suggest and he is open for ideas mm -hmm. and he communicates. So I think I love that one. Okay. Yes. How about you, Ella? Do you like someone who's, you know, a guy that who can lead, can do difficult decisions in life? Actually, I would like to have that kind of guy. But unfortunately, the guy that I've met was like a baby. A baby? A yeah. <laughs> you want someone who's strong, uh -oh. that can yeah. lead. Hard, yeah. I, I want that too because I don't want to do the... The, yes. hev the, he the heavy yeah. lifting or the heavy okay. decisions in life. Mm -hmm. I can be nurturing, you can be the leader. Sure, you can be the captain. I'll be, I'll be your first mate. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's do that together. <laughs> Let's talk about the quality of a man that you are drawn to. What is like your, your qualifications, Krish? I would say I would love a man who's smart, like Ooh. street smart and academically smart. Because I love to talk to someone who has, I uh, know, uh, what do you call this? With sense? <laughs> yeah, something with sense. Yeah. I don't like to just talk about nonsense and just yes. absolute. So I want to talk someone with sense. So that also you can communicate uh, with each other uh, more, I know, more effectively as well as especially in decision making. It mm. would be a very good thing to have that, I know, okay. type of man. So smart. Okay. Yeah. I think you're sapiosexual as well. I'm more drawn to someone who's yeah. who's very smart, as long as they're not that cunning. Yeah. Because that's a different story. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, gosh, how about you, Jess? Of course, a man that has a plan, you know. A man that has <laughs> a plan. <laughs> I love that. How about you, Ella? Yeah. What are your qualifications? Is it long? Um, <laughs> long term. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so I would like a religious man. A religious guy? Okay. Yeah. And loving, caring, and gentle. And gentle. Uh, gentle. gentle. Okay, gentle. gentle. <laughs> How about earnings? Do you care if they're only earning less than 1,000 US dollars, which is 50,000 pesos? Oh, monthly? Earning, yeah, monthly. I think it would be okay. You can sustain yourself and your family with 50,000 because 
uh, living here in Negros Oriental, my family are the monthly income of my father is just actually around 15 to 20,000 pesos and we survive. So I think 50,000, you will have more allowance in that and you can also have savings and stuff. So you can have a more comfortable life with that. Okay. So 50,000 is like already a catch. Yeah. Already a catch. You can be considered like, you can be in the middle, middle level of the society. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how about you, Jess? Having this 50,000 monthly income is good. Okay, so 50,000 yeah. is good. Do you think it can sustain a family of four? Like mom and daddy and, two. and two kids? Yes. Even my family, we only have like 5,000 pesos a month when I was a kid. And we were yeah. like six. Ooh, four kids wow. and two parents. But again, guys, it depends on what kind of lifestyle you have, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about physical attributes. Describe to me your perfect mate, Krish. I would like someone who's taller than me, of course, mm -hmm. because... How short are you? I'm like five flat, five feet tall. How about you? Mm, oh, someone yeah. with... Oh. Beard? Um. <laughs> oh, right. But not, not too long. Not too long, just, yeah, just trimmed. I like being matured, physically matured. Physically matured. Yeah. Gray hair. Salt yeah. and pepper. <laughs> Salt and pepper. <laughs> no. Right then. Blue eyes. Blue Please. eyes. What's with the blue eyes? <laughs> you know what? They're kind of rare too. Even yes. more Westerners. Mm. They're kind of yes. rare. Five percent of the mm. whole yes. population. How about you, Ella? Um, tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> the standard. <laughs> the standard. Okay. So yeah, maybe just look for a Western guy because I think they're, <laughs> <Western guys. laughs> they're gonna well, like you're uh, taller for people. Eastern guy, yeah. Okay. Tattoos. Do you like guys with tattoos? No. No? Not really. Not really? Okay. What are your deal breakers? When it comes to looks, huh? I want someone with ano, a clean haircut. A clean haircut? Yeah, it's, it just looks so much better. Like, it's, ano, it just makes them more attractive. A gentleman? Like, yeah. It's like a prim more proper. cleaner, yeah. Okay. How about you, Bebe? The nails. Yeah. The nails. The nails. Yeah, the, the nails. nails. It's yeah. a deal breaker for me as well if your nails are not properly cut. I don't mm. like long nails, yeah. especially for a guy. Yeah. Some of my viewers didn't believe me um, when I said earlier some Filipinas don't mind a guy having a few extra pounds, like a f you know fluffy bits. Yeah. You know, in the middle. Do you think it's true? Yes. Be because. Some of them they would say, "Oh, I, I like someone who's uh, who's got a dad bod," yeah, because most of bod. most Filipinos that I know they don't like someone who's very muscular because it's scared. Yeah, it's scary. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that thing. I was like, when I was younger, it was, was like, so scary. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Oh my god, this guy's gonna hit me!" Although, no, no, yes, no. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that they're going to hit me. It's just that that <laughs> the impression. Yeah. The impression. Yeah. So you'd rather have the someone with a dad bod, like a yeah. little few bits and pieces. Big boy. Bi I need a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like to squish in the middle? Yeah. Is it comforting? Yes. It is. Okay. It so looks like you're you... hugging a teddy bear. A teddy bear. Really, really. So you don't mind dating someone who's yeah, uh, not heavier. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter, as long as you have a big heart, heart. <laughs> and a strong mind. mind. <laughs> And a good pair of eyes. Boy, I'm boy. Okay. So a few extra pounds. Nah, uh, it's no big deal. It's yeah, it's no big deal. It's really true here. Yes. Yeah. I've I've asked some of my friends. They want someone who's really a bit fluffier. Yes. Yeah. It's comfortable. Little bit cushy. To cushy. Happy. To giggle. Yeah. To giggle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you seen videos on TikTok and in you know on YouTube, uh, yes. Western yeah. women rating themselves like mm. eight and above, or most of them are saying they're tens? Yeah. What do you think about it? How about you, Ella? Um, I would agree with that. You'd because, agree that yes. they're nines and tens? They were truly beautiful and deadly oh, gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're truly beautiful, okay? Mm -hmm. Because we have a different you know standards. Mm -hmm. Do you think some of them are delusional though? Um, they're maybe, but. I can say that um, they're just confident. Oh, okay, they might be just confident. How about you, Krish? What do you think of those ladies? Like, pretty much all of them are claiming they're perfect. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I think um, they're they're just confident with with themselves because they're actually 
pretty, but some are not really that pretty. Right. But still, mm -hmm. they're rating themselves 10 over 10, 100 over 10. Y yeah, yeah, and some questions were, okay, out of 10, <clears throat> they would say, oh, I'm an 11. Yes. I'm a 12. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's like, the, the, lady, are we in the same planet? Like, yeah. what are you talking about? Have you seen yourself in the mirror? I mean, I'm not yeah. shaming people here. Just yeah. saying that, come on, guys, be realistic. Ladies, did you notice that uh, Western guys are coming to Asia, specifically in the Philippines, Thailand, Malaysia? Yeah. Why do you think they're coming here to meet Asian ladies instead? You know how cute I always thought you were. If you think about it, I'm kind of like your lifeguard keeping you from drowning in a sea of doubt about life in the Philippines. I won't let you just dive right into the deep end without informing you about our culture and customs. And you can always count on me to take care of all the little details along the way. What is that in the pool? All right, everyone, out of the pool, out of the pool. Now we're gonna have to shut it down for weeks and get a hazmat crew in here, damn it! Oh my god, this is so disgusting! Which one of you subscribers did that? 